Hey guys, here is lesson 6.3, estimate fraction sums and differences. So yesterday we talked about adding um, and subtracting uh, fractions with different denominators. So today we're going to actually estimate to find out if our answer is reasonable. So it says, how can you make reasonable estimates of fraction sums and differences? So go ahead and put your star beside your essential question. And we'll go ahead and get started. Kimberly will be riding her bike to school this year. The distance from her house to the end of the street is one six mile. The distance from the end of the street to the school is three eighths mile. About how far is Kimberly's house from school? So we see one six mile to the end of the street and from the street to the school is three eighths mile and we're looking for about how far. So we know we're going to estimate how far her house is from school. So one way we can do this is to use a number line. So when we estimate, we're going to first find, place your points at one six on the number line. So I'm gonna go ahead and place my point at one six on that number line. The fraction is between what two parts? So it's between zero and one half. So it's between zero and one half. And the fraction is closer to zero on the benchmark, so we would round it to zero. Then we're going to place the point three eighths on the number line. So I'm going to put three eighths on this number line. And the fraction is between, so it still is between zero and one half. The fraction is closer to the benchmark of one half. So if we look at it, it's going to be closer to one half than zero, so we would round to one half. Now we would add the rounded fraction, so we would have one six, we rounded that to zero, three eighths, we rounded to one half, so our estimated um, sum of fractions would be one half, so it's going to be about one half mile from the school. Okay, so let's look at another problem. Let's look on the back. This is mental math, and this is most of the time what you're going to do because you're not always going to have a line plot. Sometimes you will, sometimes they'll give you one, sometimes you can create one, um, but sometimes it's just easier to do mental math. You can compare the numerator and the denominator to round a fraction and find a reasonable estimate. So here is our problem. We need to estimate 9 tenths minus 5 eighths. So what we would do is we would round 9 tenths. We round 9 tenths to, it would round to one whole. Because remember, 10 tenths equals one whole, and 9 tenths is really close to one whole. Next, we would round 5 eighths. The numerator is about half of the denominator. So 5 is about half of 8. So we would round 5 eighths to 1 half. Okay? Because remember, 4 eighths, that, we know that that's a half of a pizza. So that would be about, that is 1 half. So 5 eighths is a little bit, it's close to 4 eighths, so we know it's about 1 half. Now we are going to actually subtract. So I have one whole minus my five eighths, which actually we rounded to four eighths, which is one half, sorry. So one whole minus one half equals one half, because if we have one half plus one half, that gives us one whole. So nine tenths minus five eighths is about one half. Now, we're going to do that with these other ones. Um, now, there's always, sometimes there's a little bit of wiggle room with these estimates, just like normal numbers. Um, but for the most part, you are going to see the same answers throughout. All right, so I have 2 and 7 eighths minus 2 fifths. So I know that 2 and 7 eighths, if I just look at this fraction part of 2 and 7 eighths, let me zoom it in for you a little bit here. a mess. All right, two and seven eighths. My seven eighths, that's going to be close. I know that eight eighths is one whole. Seven eighths is super close to eight eighths. So I'm going to round that to one. So if I have one plus my two holes, that is three. OK, 
okay? So now I have three minus, now what would I round this to? Well, I know that two is about half of five. It's not exactly, because remember, we're not looking for that exact, but we know it's about um, half of five, so we would have, we would round that to one half. So three minus one half equals, well, I know that two and two, four, two and two halves is the same as three, right? Minus one half, so that would give me two and one half. Okay, those are a little bit harder when it comes to um, having these mixed numbers in here. Now we have one and eight ninths minus four and eight tenths. So I see this eight ninths. I know that's close to nine ninths, which is close, which is one. So instead of just writing a one right here, I have one plus my one would give me two plus same thing. 8 tenths, it's close enough to one whole, so I have 1 plus my 4, that gives me 5, so I have 2 plus 5 is going to be 7, so it would be about 7. Same with this one, I forgot to write it, but this one is about 2 and 1 half. We don't want to give an exact amount because it's not an exact amount, it's an about, it's an approximate amount or an estimated amount. Okay, let's go ahead and go to the share and show. All right, so now we have to estimate the sum or difference depending on what it is. So number one, they help us out. Five, six plus three eighths. Round five, six to the closest benchmark. Remember, five, six, that's close to six, six, which would be one. So we're gonna round it to one. And then we have 3 eighths, the closest benchmark. So remember, 3 is almost half of 8, so we would round that to 1 half. Now we're going to add to find the estimate. We have 1 plus 1 half equals 1 and 1 half. All right, now we're going to do a couple of these, a couple more together, and then I'm going to let you do a couple and just check your work. So the second one, number two, we have five ninths minus three eighths. So I know that five ninths, five is about half of nine. So I can probably round that to one half. Sorry, it's blurry, it's because it's zooming in on my hand. All right, minus, now, three eighths. Well, remember, three is close to being half of eight, so we could round that to one half as well. So one half minus one half would give me zero. So that's about how much it's gonna be, our estimated amount. All right, let's go to number three. I have six sevenths. Well, I know that seven sevenths is one whole. So if six sevenths is close to seven sevenths, I know that I can round this to one whole. Plus, I know, let's look at this part first. Four fifths, that's close to one whole. So if I have one whole plus my two holes, that would give me three holes, which gives me four. 1 plus 3 equals 4. That's what I want you to do when you break these apart. I want you to show me what is this fraction. Find the estimated part of that fraction and then add it to your whole number. So let's do the last one, this last one together, and then we'll do a couple on our own. All right, so 5, 6. I know that 5, 6 is close to 6, 6, which is the same as 1. So I'm going to round this to 1 plus 2 fifths. I know that two is about one half, half of one whole, or two is about half of five, so I'm gonna round that one to one half. So if I have one plus one half, that would give me one and one half. All right, so now I want you to do some of these on your own. All right, so go ahead and I want you to show your work right here, pause the video and then check back in just a second. All right, 
This one was a little bit harder. This first part, we I feel like we have. This was one hole plus our three, which gave us four holes altogether. And then minus one and two ninths. Well, two ninths, if I rounded that to that nearest benchmark, that would give me zero. So zero plus my one is one. So then four minus one equals three. So you should have gotten three for that one. All right, go ahead, pause it and do number six. All right, you should have gotten one half plus zero equals one half. All right, because we if we rounded this, if we estimated this, it would be about one half. And this one, that nearest benchmark would be zero. So then one half plus zero equals one half. All right, and go ahead and pause this for and do number seven and check your work. All right, here is your answer. So we rounded nine tenths because remember 10 tenths is one whole and nine tenths is close to 10 tenths minus one ninth. If we found the nearest benchmark, that would be zero. So one minus zero equals one. All right. Hopefully we've got it. If you still have questions, make sure you pop back on um, Google Class or the, the Google Meet so that I can help, okay? So I want you to do eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, flip, 17, 18, and 21. Okay. I want you to do those problems for me. Like I said, if you still need help and you're not understanding those benchmarks, rewatch the first part of the video first and just double check and make sure you're still not understanding it. And then if you still don't get it, come back and see me in um, the Google Meet. Good luck, guys.